Masses of squares. A square containing two squares, A and B, with areas of 16 square meters and 9 square meters, as shown, find the number of meters of the perimeter of the shaded region. So, let's analyze this problem. We know that there's a square that's containing two squares, square A and square B, each with areas of 16 square meters and 9 square meters. And so A has an area of 16 square meters and B has an area of 9 square meters. Now we're trying to find the perimeter of the shaded region. What did that mean? The whole perimeter, I'll make this big. So we're gonna have the whole perimeter of this shaded region, as you can see. Well, we don't know how, we don't know at all how much, what are the lengths of the squares? But what we do know is that 16, so I'll quickly write in here that A is 16 and B is 9. Just to make it clear, that's 16 square meters and 9 square meters. Then, then, we know that these two are squares, and we know that A and B each are perfect squares, as you can see. 16 is equal to 4 squared, and 9 is equal to 3 squared. What can this tell us? It means that one side of A would be, would be 4 meters, and one side of B would be 3 meters. The same would be with the vertical sides, not just horizontal, because they're squares. Square, in the square, the definition is that all sides are equal. So these sides of A and B are also equal. Over here would be a 3 meter, over here would be a 4 meter, and the difference would be 1. So then if we know these two at the each of these smaller segments and we know that they add up together to form a larger segment 4 plus 3 would equal to 7 so this side right here would be 7. now again we know that this whole figure is a square containing two smaller squares a and b so if we know that one side of this larger square is 7 then all the other sides would also be 7. So this side would then be 3, because 7 minus 4 is equal to 3, and over here it would be 4. For 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. So now we can easily find the perimeter of the shaded region. We just add up 3, plus 7 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 3. We add them together. 3 plus 7 equals 10, then 15 if you add 4 and 1. And 15 plus 7 right here is equal to 22. So add it up all together, it is equal to 22 square meters, and that's our answer.